bench, it, it five three, 17 points. You know, what does the work look like when we don't see you, when, when you're not getting consistent minutes? What is that in between time? Uh, if I don't play, um, just something to, just to share with y'all. If I don't play, I'm upstairs after every game getting shots up. Um, I'm getting my work in every day. So all I can do is control what I can control and that's staying ready. And um, it's not going to happen like this every night. But shots were able to go in, but it's a testament to the work, like I've been saying before. Do you have a sense that he's going to call your number tonight, given the back-to-back, -back, given he probably go to the bench early? Yeah, when uh, when I um, knew that Will was going to be out, I knew there was an opportunity for me to potentially play tonight. And uh, just staying ready every game, but uh, a little more wired, knowing that uh, there was a real opportunity for me to get in tonight. Yeah, um, I was I was trying to figure out what was one of the um, stigmas against me. You know, obviously uh, bouncing in and out of the league, um, and the question mark, which I found out kind of this year, was uh, the ability to shoot the three. Um, I was a forty percent shooter in college, so uh, I'm not quite sure why. It's always been a, a lack of opportunity, not really the production. So. Um, it's definitely something that's that's been underrated, and a lot of teams are giving me open looks, and I'm grateful for that because um, those are just higher percentage shots for me. You found out that that was an issue that you had with the Bucks. Did you work on that more? Did you try and fix that on your own, or did, what was your approach to fixing that with the players? Well, um, the league has changed a lot over the last few years, um, shooting more threes now than ever. Um, teams are shooting 60. 65, 50 plus shoot, uh, threes a game. So I know that's a big area uh, of the game today. So I just want to make sure that um, in the limited amount of opportunities that I am getting, I'm being efficient with my shots. Javon, when you see Moe Beauty and Jordan Poole going off on the bench, like, like when you're sitting on the bench, like mm -hmm. your eyes are lighting up, like that's my assignment. Like mm -hmm. I can take care of that. Um, well, we, we try to defend by committee. Um, Austin did a pretty good job tonight as well. Um, so. Uh, I, I look forward to every challenge. Um, I look look forward to guarding whoever's hot, whoever is their toughest cover. Um, but again, I can only control what I can control. If my number's called, I go out there and play with that energy and fire. Um, yeah. Jay, how did you two weeks ago go about starting this process of uh, getting into this rhythm and the right balance of attributes when working with Mike Brown? Again, that's just um, the things that are done behind closed doors, the amount of shots and work that we're putting in. And shout out to our PD staff. They do a great job of getting us right, working on certain things to, to thrive out there when we do get our opportunities. Javon, you, um, you went against uh, Michael Porter one-on-one -on -one mm -hmm. uh, earlier this week. Mm -hmm. How did he look to you? Mike looked really good. Uh, still so so tough to cover, just being 6'10 and being, being able to shoot the way he does. Uh, I'm excited for him to return, um, but he looked good. Shot still looks pretty good, and um, just with more reps, I'm sure that he'll be able to fall right in line and, and get back out there and help us. Connor, you were off the bench for the Pelicans. How would you describe what you've seen from him and his focus and how you felt it was tonight? Flat out amazing. I mean, um, to come out tonight and did he have another triple double tonight? Yeah. It's just it, it, it's. Uh, Monte and I were talking about yesterday. We're kind of getting numb to the amount of just just how easily he does it and how effortlessly he, he does it. Um, that was last night. And then to come back and do it again tonight on the back-to-back, -back, he's just an incredible player. And then, uh, to me, he'll be the MVP again this year. What did you think of um, Jeff's speech after the game? Oh, Jeff. Jeff. I got to figure out what Jeff has got going on. I need that. I need that athleticism, but no, just just never giving up on a play, and uh, those are the type of plays that that win games, you know. Especially uh, when we were having a tough time defending them, those are those are big plays and big moments that that big build character going forward, not just for this game. Thank you, Thank you. Appreciate y'all.